is Trishna. Trishna means an urge to fulfill, a deep-rooted desire. And it is the dream and desire of every sailor to go round the world. I am a yacht made of fiberglass, 36 feet 6 inches long and 10 feet 9 inches across with a draught of 6 feet 1 inch and a gross weight of 10.5 tons. I was purchased in the United Kingdom and happened to be a 1970 model. To date, I have sailed approximately 30,000 nautical miles. Before we set sail, the crew met Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. The expedition organized by the Army and the Sapper Adventure Foundation was supported financially mainly by the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Sports, besides other private and public sectors. He was seen off at Bombay by the late General A.S. Paitia and other dignitaries. We set sail from Bombay on September 28, 1985 in high spirits aware that a great adventure awaited us. Let me introduce our team. Captain R. Bassi, Captain S. Shekhar, Major K. S. Rao, who is the skipper, Captain C. Bharti, Colonel T. P. S. Chowdhury, the team manager, Major A. Bhattacharya, Lieutenant N. Ahuja, Major S. N. Mathur, Major A. K. Singh, and Major A. P. Singh. At any given time, six members are on board. The others join in rotation at different ports. But there were always four permanent members on board. Bharti is one of the permanent crew members on board. He has represented the Corps in various national regattas of Enterprise class and in windsurfing. All duties were worked out on the basis of a shift system, even cooking. The man who cooked was on mother watch and it was quite an experience and a bit of torture for those who could not cook. And believe me, most of them could not. The person on Mother Watch was responsible for my entire cleanliness. Thanks to the cyclonic disturbances at Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu, we ran into low pressure areas ever since we left Bombay. We encountered the turbulent effect of gales and touched Malé, that is Maldives, and Port Louis at Mauritius, to reach St. Helena Island around the Cape of Good Hope on 2nd December 1985. Gosh, it was a rough ride and the longest non-stop journey running into 33 days. The first week of November and the second week near the Madagascar and South African coasts, we were hit severely by gales as a result of which Waves of almost 45 to 50 feet flooded the boat from the stern. I can understand why the Cape of Good Hope is called the Cape of Storms. Mishaps were plenty. Winds howled at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour. We lost two horseshoe boys 
and the safety equipment on board. We were cut off from communication for 15 days with India and other ports as the radio set was damaged and the aerials broken. The sense of isolation was complete. place at St. Helena where Napoleon lies buried. The climb up Jacob's ladder is 760 steps. islands are in the middle of the South Atlantic Ocean between Africa and South America. Moon landing trials were conducted here by the Americans. It was here that our anchor was lost and got stuck in the rocks. Divers from United Kingdom helped us retrieve it and we presented them with Indian rations and deep gratitude. Brazil was the first port we touched after we crossed the South Atlantic Ocean. I must say the Brazilian Navy looked after us at Natal and Belém, both ports of Brazil. While I went up the Rio Pare River in Brazil, we had to sail upstream 70 nautical miles against the currents as well as deftly avoid tree logs floating in the water. On the 30th of January, we crossed over to Port Paramaribo at Suriname. At Georgetown, Guyana, we were received by a family of Indians and the Indian High Commissioner Patankar and his wife saw us all. We went through Port of Spain, Trinidad, to Bridgetown at Barbados on February 6, 1986, and the journey was pretty rough. We crossed the historic Panama Canal to Balboa and were afforded a rousing reception at the Panama High Commission hosted by Ambassador S.J. Singh. And we Major K.S. Rao is my skipper and a permanent member on board. He has been sailing since 1964, representing NDA at various national regattas. He captained Trishna from UK to Bombay. At Panama, I was given the facelift I badly needed. I was taken out of the water and completely overhauled and repainted with anti-fouling paint. Captain S. Shaker was one of the permanent members of the crew and looked after the medical aspects and the galley. He was awarded the sailing blue and the trophy for the best helmsman at NDA. Just crossing the Cape of Good Hope, Good Hope or better known as Cape of Storm. It was the first storm uh, when we were south of Madagascar, when our boat was almost completely underwater by two huge waves. And uh, except for my head, I couldn't see anything else of the boat outside the water. But the uh, boat lifted up on its own and the design is very good. So the water was quickly drained out. But we lost our life-saving equipment in this particular encounter with the waves. 
A.K. Singh has represented India in windsurfing at Thailand, Germany and Sweden besides his participation in various national and international championships. A.K. lost his left leg in an accident while hang gliding in Pune and is a permanent uh, member as, of the as, crew as of see, Krishna. Uh, the rust, uh, when our sailing expedition is complete, A.K. would be the first handicapped uh, sailor to have gone round the world. Parts. These uh, limbs are one-tenth the cost what they cost anywhere else in the world and they are the best in the world. Uh, that's what was told to us even, uh, told to me even at the limb centers of uh, uh, UK as well as uh, USA. Uh, but these parts have been specially fabricated by uh, Colonel Jain and this particular limb that you saw has been uh, halfway around the world and is still uh, going strong. We sailed into San Cristobal at Galapagos, Equator on April 15, 1986. We met Antoine and Tito who have been sailing for five years together. Hello. Yes, uh, is your boat? Can I have the name of your boat? My boat is the green boat there, it's a French boat and it's called Voyage. Voyage, yes. And we have sailed from France, we have left France five years ago with this boat. We have been down to Brazil, up to Canada and now we're going to Polynesia. Uh, My name is Titu. Uh, and you, uh, you are uh, born in Tahiti? Yes. And, and we are going to meet my mother in Tahiti. Wow. What's, what's, what's her she, name? She, her name is Michelle. She is really beautiful. Oh. Ah, and uh, she will be the one to ask the questions. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. and, and you are sailing? Uh, I'm sailing also to Tahiti. And you're sailing with? Uh, with Antoine. Hey. Uh, that's me. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm Antoine. Okay, Carlos. Ah. Oh, great, great. From Galapagos to Marquesas Islands, we sailed non-stop to cover 3,200 nautical miles. This was the fastest stretch so far during the voyage. We covered 180 nautical miles a day. Galapagos, French Polynesia तब वो की तरफ बढ़ रहे हैं और आशा करते हैं कि आज शाम तक पहुंच जाएंगे करीब 11 मील और रहते हैं और गलापगोस टापुओं पर हमने छह दिन बिताए काफी पशु पक्षी और जंगली जानवर देखे उसके बाद किस दिन का सफर <laughs> Reading the lovely literature of the French Polynesian and the pilot, how do you feel about it? One thing you must take it for granted that whatever we read is like this there in the brochures or this tourist information. You must take it with a pinch of salt. And even form your opinions only when you land on the shore and see things for yourself. Nukuhiwa Radio, Nukuhiwa Radio, Nukuhiwa Radio, you are Krishna, you are Krishna, you are Krishna calling Nukuhiwa Radio. Do you copy over?